Hey, what's up, everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm going to be showing you a fun, fast effect to apply in Adobe Premiere Pro. What it is, is that VHS line effect. So this is what we're going to be creating today. You can see that line going down right there. And this is really the, the, the effect that we're creating. You can see that it comes back every once in a while. And you can manipulate this to make it go you know, up to down or more frequently. But this is a great little effect to learn. And it'll also teach you about wave warp, which is a fun effect. So let's get started. All we have to do is find our footage that we want to apply this to, or we can go ahead and create ourselves a new sequence and then drag in footage for that. We can go ahead and create this actually on an adjustment layer. So we'll do that, drag this on so we can apply it to multiple different clips if we wanted to. And then in the adjustment layer, we're going to go over to our effects and then we're going to search for wave warp. That's going to be under video effects, distort, and then wave warp. We're going to grab wave warp drop it on our adjustment layer, and you're gonna see we get this really wavy sort of thing going. And if we play this back, it, it looks pretty funny, but this is not the effect that we're going for here. So now we're gonna go into here, and you see there's a bunch of different things like sawtooth or you know down to uncircle, tons of effects in here. What we want though is the square effect, and even now it's still not working how we want it to. So now we need to adjust the effects down here. We're gonna take that height and we're gonna keep it right there. We're gonna take the width and we're going to drag this out to maybe about 600 or so. We're then going to take the direction and we want to bring that up to 180. And now you'll see that instead of going left to right, it's now going top to bottom. However, right here, you see that we have some white space on the left and right. So we're going to go to pinning and we're then going to switch to all edges. This is gonna take those sides and it's going to attach them to the edges. And then now only this sort of singular movement right here is going to change it from that left to that right image here. And you can see that sort of disparity right here is it's going to move the image all the way over a little bit to the left and then all the way over a little bit to the right. Now, what we wanna do next is we want to go ahead and reduce that speed. One is gonna be way too fast for this. So we wanna bring it down to either negative 0.1, which is gonna make it go from bottom uh, to top, or we can go with a positive 0.1 to make it go from top to bottom. Or even you could do like 0.3 right here and you'll see that it just comes through a little bit quicker. However, it may look a little bit unrealistic, anything past 0.2. Now we can do some little bit adjustments here because right now this effect is pretty sort of uh, strong. It's moving it over really, really far. So to do that, what we can do is we can go ahead and take this wave height and just move that down a little bit. So the farther you move this, the farther it's going to stretch it. So if we go into the extreme here, you'll see that we have this really far stretch and then it's gonna stretch it all the way over to the left side again as well. We don't want that. So we're gonna go ahead and take this and bring it down to maybe about three. And then whenever this comes down, it's only gonna make a very tiny adjustment that sort of works with uh, what that VCR line is. And we can bring it down to actually maybe about one. If you really just want only the line, then that's going to come in. If you wanted to have a little bit of a glitch in there, maybe two, maybe three, and you'll have that little bit of a glitch. And that is basically it for this effect. You now have the ability to use Wave Warp to create this line that uh, goes over your footage. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and thumb in the comment section below or on our website at adobemasters.net. If you want to see more videos, send me this one. Go ahead and that subscribe button and make a video every other day. And until next time, guys, see ya.